Back here at home, the Florence Mills Country Market brings new life to a piece of Nebraska history. Arbella Karakta introduces us to the woman who made it possible. It's a fun market. It's very laid back. Um, I sometimes tease the vendors that it's where, where country meets hippie. In 1998, it was for sale and nobody wanted it except to probably tear it down for a quick shop. So Linda Meggs bought it for $63,000 more than two decades ago. With the help of her late husband, an architect, they fixed it up, preserving the building that dates back to the 1840s. It was full of 14,000 pounds of fermented grain, dirt, dead animals, and pigeon poop besides falling down, no windows and no roof, and a swamp in the basement. But um, when I got the big overhead doors, I realized that it was a good place to do events and outdoor. It brought the outdoors inside. In 2009, she started the Florence Mills Country Market with just six vendors. Now it's grown to about 35 with produce, food trucks, handmade goods, and live animals. It's a wonderful, wonderful gathering. The history uh, draws you here. Uh, the massage therapy, uh, it's just really a nice, nice place to come. I just appreciate handmade made things. From 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. every Sunday this summer, you can shop, tour inside the mill, and learn about grain production in the Weber family, who owned it for more than a hundred years prior. An artist herself, Linda Meggs thought she'd rent out the space to other creators. Instead, she realized there is as much to give as there is to gain with this building. So she made it open to the public. I uh, accidentally have sort of a legacy with this building. On your side, in Omaha, Bella Caracta, 6 News. We'll definitely have to go and check that out. Well, the owner says she also hosts a history program, and there's a new one coming up in September.